American alligator in the wild. Already passed by two earlier, one with some babies on her. This guy doesn't have any babies, he's just hanging out. That's how used they are kayakers coming down here. They are not too shy of people. It's also early morning hours and they're trying to get some sun warm up for the day. So they don't really want to have to get all wet and have to dry off again. Started to see some alligator gar now. We got to a little deeper, deeper area out of the mangrove thickets. Can open up a little bit, I can stand up. All right, now that I'm getting further away from the launch, I'm getting to where the gators see a lot less kayakers. I just saw one skirt off into the mangroves over on the right. Saw a gator cruising down the right side and a bunch of fish jumping. This might be a good spot to throw around a lure for a minute. All right, I've paddled pretty far into the into the preserve today. I just hooked into a ladyfish. I had a few bites. Finally, hooked one. Got him close to the boat. So now I'm gonna try to, try to see if I can't hook another one. On camera, I just found this little spinner. I'm finally starting to see. Well, it's starting to get a little bit bigger. Ladyfish were still pretty far from the from the inlet, but they're in here. Cruising down, I'd seen a ton of spotted gar, seen a couple of bass, seen a lot of. Seen, I saw one snook. I could see the yellow line cruise by. Whenever I was pulling that guy, in, I thought he might have been a snook, but. Good old lady fish. All right, I was trolling. I think I've had a few bites or whatnot, but I think I finally hooked up on a lady here. This reel is on its last legs. Oh yeah, there he is. Nice little. Put the troll back out. Keep it going. All right. Started the troll again. I think he's a little foul hook. That's why he's pulling a little bit harder. But it's not the same size ladyfish. Maybe this one's a little bit bigger. Ah! Uh, I threw it off right at the boat. Not the end of the world. This corner right here seems to, seems to have them. Because it seems like, yeah, see, they're all right, they're kind of stacked up right here. That was a and ladyfish if you're in Texas, Florida. They still are fun to catch. It was a throw it and hit the water and he got on it. Whew. Texas tarpon, but we're in Florida. Yep, this is just right before that. Oh, I spit it. It's just kind of right before the mosquito line. There's some film on the water. I 
on the troll got something I think it's just gonna be another lady fish he's on I mean he only jumped one time it was more of a splash than a jump so I don't know maybe not he's not continue there he goes there he jumps again He's hooked real good right now. Let me splash me. Good ol' Texas nice Tarpon. Living down in Key West, don't see any of these, but get back up onto the mainland, change your latitude, a couple degrees. And you're back into ladyfish territory. <laughs> see his gator just his eyes straight ahead. He's probably about to go under the water. Yep, there he goes, just a slight ripple. just about here we got a little hermit crab see if we can get him in the sun he's getting a little a little restless we'll put him back in Put them upside down into the water and then face down. Like how you found them. There's actually a good number of them all trying to, trying to walk away from me right now. Stopped on the way back to Key West at the Caltux Key. Super, super cool spot. Not a, not a far kayak ride to get to. And there's a free kayak launch actually. Unless probably a mile or so from the launch. 20, 30 minute paddle. Real easy. This is one of the first places I ever came to in the Keys whenever I visited a couple years ago and decided I wanted to live down here. So on the way back from the mainland, I figured I'd stop by, do a quick little stop and try to reminisce on the times. And that was back during during COVID, probably August of 2020. Still got a few of the same locals right here. Some iguanas, probably some that got displaced or moved here from Hurricane Ian. I remember last time there were about three or four. I've seen three so far. One right there. Super neat spot to come and check out if you're visiting the Keys. I was worried after the hurricane that this, this bench wouldn't be here, but it's still, still staying strong. I guess up here probably wasn't as hard of hit compared to Key West whenever it comes to conditions. Obviously still got conditions, but not 
tropical storm or hurricane like conditions I would assume just got one pull with me it's nice to throw down a lure sometimes even if you're not catching anything kind of is, a, is a therapeutic you just get lost in the, the form of it and whenever you do have a bite after a while it's uh no matter what size it's still a rush I remember whenever I visited here and catching a few small barracudas that was like one of the coolest things ever whenever I first visited catching a barracuda and now it's just uh you know if you're out on a real fishing day it would seem like a, a waste of time or you're getting away what you're really trying to catch but it's like to kind of just finally get back to the basics and I'm not the, the type of dude that just wants to go and uh, try to hook up on 300 pound tarpons so for those of you that are I get it but uh for me I just kind of like the uh joy of being out here I don't want to lure around same spinner I have tied on from yesterday catching catching the ladyfish where I guess in a sense the uh the barracuda and the keys are kind of like the ladyfish on the mainland the thing most readily available to take a lure and bend a rod with so well yeah there's a uh, old highway one over there in the background this spot's pretty easily findable if you know know how to do a little bit of looking because for one there aren't many uh public boat launches in the florida keys and this one's fairly new there was it wasn't here a lot whenever i visited in covid but i think it might have been being built at the time but it still launched through one of the, the businesses and come and check it out the island has definitely gotten smaller from what i remember since I guess that would have been a little bit over two years ago. Uh, totally understandable going through Ian or whatnot and erosion, but the water is just awesome to look at. It's a safe haven for a lot of these small big fish, these small pilchards can get in this real shallow water. Not gonna have many predators. I haven't seen any barracuda yet, just seeing some ballyhoo going around but still an awesome place Had iguana just sunning itself, not having a care in the world. It's these people out here all the time. It's, it's pretty, not I guess not insane. Pretty understandable for the wildlife that are in more of the public places. They have just such a higher tolerance for you being around. I saw that yesterday, kayaking the river when right at the start, where a lot more kayaks make it through. The gators did not care at all, but once you got a little bit further down the river, a couple miles, three miles, they saw the first side of me around the bend and they were uh, turning tail and ducking under and, and getting out of sight. So, animals can definitely build up tolerance to humans. <laughs> 